What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are up against Cadence. I was bringing a really cool team. Big fan of the Haxorus, big fan of the Umbreon. I've never, ever battled a... Vanillix, I think it is. I think it is Vanillix. I could be wrong. I don't remember. It's Vanillite, Vanillix, Vanillix. So this one's a different one. I don't remember. So we got the Diggers B, which is going to be a big threat, especially if it's carrying the the uh, the scarf. We also got the Haxorus, like I mentioned earlier, the Porygon too, which is going to get very annoying, but very manageable with the Choice Bandit Me and Xiao here. And then the uh, Gosh Darn uh, Grimmsnarl. So to start things off, I want to start off with the Roserade. Why? Because I can punish just about everything except for the... Ice cream and the hacks and the oh well I can punish the hacks or and the Porygon too. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and start the little baby girl. Um what's your name again? Roserade. Uh it's really hot. <laughs> I'm still recording. It's really, really hot in here. But we gotta do what we gotta do, right? We got a little fan pointing at our back, so that's helping a little bit. So Haxorus does come out just like we figured it would, and I think. I think it comes down to a speed tie. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit off the the Dazzling Gleam and hope it knocks out. I, it won't knock out, I know that for sure, but hopefully it does very close enough so that it'll knock out. So, Dragon Dance is a thing, obviously. Very bad news for us, unfortunately. Now, hopefully we can get a crit for my opponent getting uh, really greedy at the beginning. So, Axorus does not go down, unfortunately. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go on to the Corsola here. And then eventually, because I got the Focus Sash on my Pulte, guys, I'm just going to get rid of this Haxorus. Just don't Dynamax. That's all I ask for. Because if you Dynamax, then I'm going to have to Dynamax myself. Okay, so Outrage, given that I have no... Actually, I have a Fairy-type. I do have a Fairy-type. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go out into the Dedenne. The D -d -d Dedenne, which is a Fairy-type. And honestly, we can either go for a Nuzzle here, or we can go for the um, Charm and just make this thing kind of fr fr frustrate this uh, this Haxor is here. Get, get confused. You still got confused, right? There you go. That's all I wanted in all reality. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with the Nuzzle. I don't want this thing to get any faster than what it already is. Just don't hit me with the Earthquake. Hit yourself. Poison Jab. Oh, so we're going to go down anyways. Bye, Dede. Bye. Yeah, I thought the Dene was going to be a good Pokemon, but it's not. <laughs> the Dene has not been able to do anything in these past three Wi-Fi battles, so... What I'm going to lay it all on the line here, we're going to try to get a Pulte Guy sweep. I mean, my opponent wants a sweep. Can I get a reverse sweep? That would be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and Shell Smash here. This thing is a physical attacker, obviously. So hopefully we can do something with this. You are confused, and you don't hit yourself. If that were me, though, I would smack myself in the face like five times before I snapped out of confusion. All right, so Focus Ash, Weak Armor, and we're about to get the Shell Smash off, so I don't think my opponent has any priority also. So this is actually very, very good for us. Extremely well. Sword Power is going to do some work. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do some very good work. Our attack goes up, our special attack goes up, our speed goes up even higher. And then, obviously, Stored Power is going to do a lot. I'm going to Giga Drain, though. Stored Power was the play. This is not going to knock out. Okay, it does. Sometimes I am scared because sometimes I click things without thinking clearly. And that's, that sucks for me because sometimes it determines the battle, unfortunately. So, glad it didn't determine the battle in this case here. I got rid of the Haxorus whenever I could. And that was one of the biggest threats in my opponent's team. Now, the next biggest threat that my opponent has is going to be the Porygon 2, in my opinion. Because that thing can take just about everything. After the Porygon 2, we got to get rid of the, the Digger's B. So, yeah. Unfortunately, Umbreon comes out, and obviously we cannot do anything to this thing. So we're just going to go ahead and Giga Drain. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. It doesn't. It's not a 2-hit KO, unfortunately. It's a 3-hit KO. But that's okay. Pulte guys did what it needed to do. Dark Pulse, go right ahead. I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Pulte guys goes down. And then the next best option that I have is going to go to the Mian Xiao. And honestly, I can just high jump kick. I can start high jump kicking this um, things. 
Now, what am I gonna do here? Um, yeah, he has nothing that can take this high jump kick successfully. So we're just gonna hit the high jump kick, get rid of something, or at least do a lot of damage to something. As long as I don't miss, of course. And I'm gonna knock on my desk right now. So we're gonna high jump kick, and we successfully hit Umbreon is mine. Thank you for the Umbreon. Umbreon goes down. Poor little cat. That's one of my favorite Pokemon right there. I mean, Chow's a very cool Pokemon too, though. Like, why is it me and Xiao used more than what it is? Especially a reckless choice banded me and Xiao. Okay, so Grimmsnarl comes out. I really am not afraid of this thing. What I'm gonna do here is, um, I'm gonna go into the Corsola here. I should be able to take a physical attack from this thing, and then I can honestly just go ahead and, um, recover it up. I don't think this thing will hit me with a physical attack, though. Now, in the back, I have Roserade. Right? Did Roserade go down? No, he went Dragon Dance, Dazzling Gleam, and then I went to Dedenne, I think. No. What? Yeah. What was the... No. I think I did lose my, um, my Pokemon. Come on. Take this. There you go. Take it like a champ. Our special attack goes down, unfortunately, but that's perfectly fine with me. That's perfectly fine. And then what I'm gonna do is... Yeah, Roserade is still alive, which is which is good. It's a good thing. Now, I'm gonna try to take an attack and recover it up. That's what I have to do. You're gonna bulk up, that's fine. This gives me an opportunity to recover my health and simply scald because I wanna try to burn this thing. I don't want it to get too bulky to the point I can't knock it out. All right, Corsola doing good so far. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a, 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 a Galarian Corsola, so we're not gonna do what we want to do, but we're gonna go ahead and Scald anyways. You can bulk up, you know, for bulking up, you're gonna get this burn. You're gonna, you're gonna catch this burn. I know it, I know it, you're gonna burn. I believe, I believe in Corsola, in Corsola, 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 yeah. No, I don't believe in Corsola. Corsola doesn't believe in me as its trainer. Isn't that sad? Isn't that very sad? Now, the good news is that I can outspeed my, with my Roserade. So I'm gonna Scald. This Grim Snarl is not as scary as you guys are making it out to be. It really isn't. It really isn't. I'm gonna Scald here and I'm gonna make you pay for setting up in my face. I really am. Burn it, Corsola. Burn it, burn it, burn it. It's a crit and it's a burn. It's a burn. Woo! I, that's, that brings me berries to my Aura's days. You have no idea. I love Aura's. One of, one of my favorite competitive battle mechanic or scenes, I should say. But we're going to go ahead and Scald again. Now we're going to set up the Stealth Rock. Forget this Grim Snarl. Forget this Grim Snarl. Forget the leftovers it's carrying too. It, I think it is carrying leftovers, right? Forget the leftovers it's carrying also. You continue to bulk up, that's perfectly fine. You don't scare me, Grim. You don't scare me. Okay, so we're gonna set up the Stealth Rock and I do need this this uh, this uh Corsola here. I keep trying to say Corsola, but it's a Corsola. Core, core, it's a coral. Okay, so Grim Snarl is probably gonna try to knock out my Corsola and I really need Corsola. Why do I need Corsola? I don't really need it because I'm gonna lose to the Diggers B anyways. Uh, I'm thinking real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna Talonflame here. We're just gonna switch out, go into the Talonflame. You're probably gonna hit me with the Fairy-type attack, and I resist that. I might be able to live. So we're gonna go into the Talonflame. You hit me with the Drain Punch, which I resist. It's all good. It is all good. If you wanna hit me with another Drain Punch, by all means, I actually encourage you to do it. Because I'm gonna set up a Swords Dance. Unfortunately, this thing is really, really bulky, so I can't really do much. But, um... If I set up enough Swords Dance to eventually knock this thing out with the Brave Bird, then I'm good. I've done what I needed to do. You're gonna Sucker Punch me and it fails! For very good reason. This is why I'm gonna go ahead and just Swords Dance it up. And then... Should I Swords Dance again? He's running Sucker Punch. I'm gonna Swords Dance again. You just have to do that to win, don't you? 
I, I, I know you. I know your type of players. I really do. And it's not even a Gigantamax Grimmsnarl, so that's very disappointing. All right, Grim, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? Because now that you Dynamax, you can't do anything to us. I'm going to Swords Dance. You can hit me with the Dark type attack, and actually, that's going to knock us out. So you can't do something to us. Your Max Darkness. Come on. Come on, Talon. I believe in you! I knew it was too much to account for. I knew it. Now the question is, what am I going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait to Dynamax. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on to the Corsola. If this thing is, wants to go ahead and set up the uh, gosh darn um, whatever it's going to set up on us, that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to Scald. I should be able to take an attack and the right place to recover, but I'm going to Scald because I really want to try to knock this thing out. So Max Knuckle is going to knock us out. That doesn't knock us out. Who, are, who am I kidding? I'm a Corsola. I'm a Corsola, and you're a Grimmsnarl. You're ugly. I'm kind of cute. I'm kind of cute. We're just going to hit the Scald here. I'm just going to trigger the leftovers. Unfortunately, for him, it's going to be offset by the burn. It's going to be offset by the burn. Um, now, uh, this leaves me room to go ahead and Dynamax... Not this turn, but next turn, once Corsola goes down, and I simply come out into the gosh darn, um, Rosa Raid and knock out his, her Grim Snarl. That's what I do. Alright, so. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go out into my Rosa Raid, and I'm gonna go big girl. Big Girl Rose, and I'm gonna set up the Misty Terrain by going for the the, the Max uh, the Max Fairy attack. I don't remember the name. All right, I can Max Ooze. Ooh, what should I do? I'm gonna Max Starfall. I'm gonna Max Starfall. Max Ooze was better. Now that I think about it, that's a bummer. I misplayed a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Now, yeah, in hindsight, I should have definitely gone for the for the max ooze and then set up my my overgrow because then I would be able to take an attack from the uh, Diggersby. It barely lives. Are you kidding me? Are you definitely kidding me? You're definitely kidding me. Oh my goodness gracious! I messed it up really bad for us, didn't I? Spirit Break lowers our special attack, unfortunately. And that's why I should have gone for the Max, max Ooze. Now, lucky for us, the, this Mystery Terrain does not allow for priority. So he cannot hit us with the um, Sucker Punch. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and just Max Overgrowth. No, Ooze. Don't over, don't overthink it. Just go for the Max Ooze. Oh, it does. He can't go for a Sucker Punch. And then I'll sell. That's awesome. That is very awesome. You don't know how frustrated I am about that. Wow. It's it's the psychic one, right? This one doesn't allow for status? Unless I'm wrong. I got my terrains confused. Come on. Am I going to lose to bulk up Grimstone? I really am, aren't I? Wow. Bravo. You had a Dynamax to beat me. You really did, though. And unfortunately for me, I couldn't Dynamax to win. All right, it's because I misplayed, that's why. If I would have gone for the ooze, I would have gotten rid of this Grim Snarl, and we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. I would have been sweeping it up. That's it, I would have been sweeping it up. Lucky for me, it doesn't have any ghost types. So I'm just gonna high jump kick all the way through. And lucky for us, you know, he should have gone for the Sucker Punch to at least do some kind of damage on us. And I get a Min Shao Sweep. If I get a Min Shao Sweep, if I actually pull this off, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. It just depends. Oregon 2 should go down to a Choice Band, right? I mean, I'm, it's Stab, it's super effective. And I'm banded. I'm Reckless Banded. I think I'm Reckless Banded. I could be wrong. Oregon is mine. There you go. We're bringing it back. We have to bring this back. Come on, Minchao. 
I believe in you. Just do not miss any high jump kicks. That's all I ask for. Call me the comeback king because I'm about to win this. Vanillix comes out and it's probably snow warning, right? Your snow warning? You're warning me of the snow? No, you're not. No, you're not. You said forget the snow. Just like the last Politoed. If you guys didn't check that last Wi-Fi battle, I'll check it out. There you go, Minshell. I believe in you. I believe in you. One more Pokemon to go. Come on. If we live an attack from this Diggersby and hit this attack, we are good. We are Gucci. Come on. Come on. I got to win this. If I don't win this, I'm going to cry. I'm going to be a sad panda. So sad. So sad. So, so sad. Diggersby comes out. If it's Sash, then all hope is gone because I outspeed. I jump kick. Come on. It's Scarf, though. You have to be Scarfed. You have to be Scarfed. This is... The Wi-Fi battles we've had with this team, all three of them, are dope! We just got the win! We just got the win! Let's go! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Man, Xiao, you already know MVP knocked out four Pokemon on my opponent's side of the field. That is amazing. Amazing. I was about to be sad because I couldn't win by Dynamaxing. I'm taking your lead card. I hope your team is printed in the back because mine sure is. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.